what is going on, boys and girls? Back at it again with another episode of Super Samurai Piggy for you. Before we begin, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. And today, we have a beer from my good friends over at Duclaw. They sent me over another one of their Patriarchy series, and we are going to be checking that out. So, I have actually done a video on Duclaw and the Patriarchy series before, so you can check that out right up here. But we're going to be talking about this one today. So, today what we have in front of us is the Oat Milk Imperial Stout. So, this is 8.5% ABV, and on the side, it states that the Patriarchy, oats plus water equals oat milk. A luscious dairy-free dream. Our oat milk imperial stout is anchored in notes of roasty coffee and chocolate and balanced by creamy oat milk for a soft, medium-bodied mouthfeel. Sip, baby sip. So that's what it says. And yeah, so a little bit about imperial stouts. What's really cool is that the, I mean, obviously the, the American imperial stouts are brewed here and it was taken from the recipes that the Brits used to brew which is the Russian Imperial style that's the typical style and what's cool about that is the name comes from it's derived from the fact that the Russian Russian royalty actually really enjoyed uh, stouts and a stout actually stems from a porter so the term or the name used to be a stout porter and then they just ended up dropping the porter and then stout became the stout. It became a style of its own. And the Russian Imperial Stout gets the name from the fact that the Brits would actually brew beer for Russian royalty and they would actually cellar the beers and but in their like storage, I guess. But what's cool about it is that they had to brew a beer so strong that it'd be able to last. And that's how we have these beers today. And the Russian and American Imperial Stouts range from about eight to 12% ABV. So this lands right in that region. But yeah, I mean, with oats and milk. So the oats in this, you're going to, you're going to expect a nice body because oats add body to the beer and with the milk the the lactose actually is a sugar that yeast cannot break down so you're gonna expect some residual sweetness as well so i'm super stoked to try it i have not had a bad duclaw stout or beer yet so let's pop this open and try it out Black as night. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Some nice head retention as well, thanks to the oats. And straight black. Can't see through that. So you get rich, dark chocolate notes. You get a little bit of a, that residual sweetness from the lactose. Get a slight roasted coffee scent in there. Hmm. Ooh, that is nice. Has a great body on that. It's like a medium to medium full body. Completely washes over the palate. Has like a slight residual bitterness in the background. It's, it's, you get roasted coffee, you get dark chocolate, you get that slight, slight residual sweetness from the lactose. But I mean, all in all, it's, it's a very delicious, easy drinking beer. It's slightly tannic, so it has like a slight dryness at the end. But I mean, that is, it's a beautiful beer. It's, it's a great, well brewed beer. And as far as pairing, so honestly, this hides the 8.5 very well. I would have guessed this probably like seven, seven and a half. So definitely be careful with this if you drink it. But as far as pairings go, I would definitely go, hmm, 
those coffee characters are very, very nice. And that like dark chocolate character and that it's, what I like about this is that the sweetness isn't all, like it's not overly sweet from, from the lactose. So already thinking I hit it with some pork. I, I feel like some either chicharrones or some fat belly pork or just like anything off of a cajachina would be great with this beer. I feel like I can do some bratwurst. I feel like that'd be great with this beer. I feel like I can do, hmm. What could that bitterness go good with? I feel like I can, like, honestly, my mind's just going to dessert right now. I can go with a rich, super dark, fudgy cake. I can go with cheesecake. I can go with, hmm. Bro, just straight up, just get some ice cream and just pour this on top as the syrup. This would, that would be freaking amazing. And yeah, I mean, you could do a, a bunch with this beer, but I'll just let you decide what you want to do with it. Me, personally, I'm going to go drink it because it's freaking delicious. And yeah, I'm just going to go drink this beer. So before I go, you know, I always like to give love to the peeps that tuned in, but before I do, Please don't hesitate to hit me up. You can catch me on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch pretty soon. I'm going to be jumping on Twitch, so stay tuned for that. I got some things coming soon. Super, super excited. And yeah, have you guys tried Duclaw before? Have you tried the Patriarchy series? Ha Do you like stouts? Do you like Russian Imperial stouts? Hit me up. Drop me a message. Let's talk. But yeah, let me give love to the peeps that tuned in before I go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We had Soha, how's it going? We got the Bruising Banter Podcast, how's it going boys? Of course my lovely wife tuning in, what's up baby? Got the Florida Beer Guy, what's going on homie? We got Bittersweet 1115 and the Craft Beer Bombshell. Got the homies over at Los Tanitos, got the homie Chris Bro 3. Miami Vettis Center, how's it, Vredic Center? Purple Squid, the homie Rhett Dogerty. What's going on, brother? Manolo El Barbero. Tony Reineros. Hey, what's up, Tony? Over at Gulfstream. Check him out. And Runner Girl Lotus. How you doing? Got Torin Charge. Josh Mel. Well, what's going on? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Reb Stock. The DM Experience. And yeah. Ooh. Rev Stock said he's about to crack a dream. I actually haven't had a dream before, so enjoy that. But yeah, guys, please stay safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, wear gloves, whatever. Keep your distance. We need to get better so we can hang out and drink beers again. And if you're gonna protest, definitely do that, but stay safe. There's a lot of crazy shit going on out there and don't get hurt or caught up in anything bad. I love you guys. I hope to see you soon again or next time. And yeah, until the next time, my friends, love you. Appreciate you. Cheers.